We are in Orlando, Florida for the Keto Orlando Summit. And we're going to show you how we use Keto Chow on the road. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we're on the road and need convenience food, you'll be alerted to it. So we are in Orlando, Florida for the Keto Orlando Summit. I just realized we're sitting on the wrong side. People are going to be typing down their confused Sorry. right now. Well, it's vacay. You can do lots of things differently. And I mean, normally if we're home, we cook food. Yep. But we're doing some things differently because we are out and about and need some grab and go options. So we came up here a couple days early so that we could go to Walt Disney World with our grandbaby Peyton, which is our plan tomorrow. And sometimes we like to have just grab and go. And one of the things we do when we're traveling is use keto chow. A lot of times people ask us, though, how do you do keto chow on the road? Because we personally like to use melted butter, and uh, we can't exactly travel with a Vitamix to mix up our melted butter we keto can't? chow. No. People don't do that? So there's a few different things you can do. You can use something like avocado oil, or you could just go get heavy cream, though we try to avoid heavy cream because it leads to a little bit of gastric distress for us. So we use something else. Yeah, and I don't want any gastric distress tomorrow, right? Because we're going to the Magic Kingdom with our grandchild for the first time. So we want to feel really good in our bodies. So yeah, Joe, we need an alternative to heavy cream. So we're gonna get into that in a minute, but I thought it would be fun since we were gonna make this video anyway, and it is the beginning of the month. We have the Keto Chow My Chow Surprise Box. So we're on the road. We need a grab and go option. We just brought the whole box. But we don't even know what's in here. No. We don't know what flavors there are to choose from and if one of them will make for a magical day tomorrow. So if you don't know what this box is, this is the surprise My Chow box. It is basically a surprise of different types of Keto Chow. Every month you can order it and you can get it in 30, 60, or 90 day or 90 meal packages. And what happens is, is they just randomly choose 30, 60, or 90 meals to put in the box. You have no say in what that is going to be. But it's kind of fun. And in exchange, you get 20% off the retail value. So if you were to buy everything that's in this box, you're saving 20% off of that. Now, if you don't want them to pick the flavors, you can get the regular My Chow, build your own, and then you save 15%. Though the best way to save money with Keto Chow is actually to buy it in the big bags and then use our discount code down below because that will always get you 10% off and the big bags give you a significant discount. Now, before you open the box, because we have no idea what's in it, we didn't watch any videos or get nope. any sneak peeks as to what is in the box, but are we gonna need a little pixie dust to make sure we don't get a flavor I that have any. is not our favorite? Like maybe peaches and cream? I don't know. You ready? Yeah. Let's okay. See. What's in here? So it does, the, the surprise box, not the build your own, but the surprise box does come with some recipe cards. So this is August of 2023. What's in here? Let's see. What are the recipe cards that we get with this month? And then let me see if I can guess which. Well, flavors are in the box based on that <gasps> chocolate, chocolate toffee, toffee cheesecake okay. by two crazy keto i absolutely feel confident that we can eat something in this box and how amazing is it to have our very own recipe card inside this box i had no idea this nope. was coming that is an so, award-winning recipe I, years ago we submitted this recipe in a competition and we won. I may cry. Chris Miriam did not even give us a heads up that this was gonna be in here, but how precious is it? And is this a Carrie Brown 
photograph of something that you came up with like how cool is this that is really cool so we have a strawberry mousse and chocolate tart Ooh, actually our daughter michelle said strawberry is her current top flavor it was always chocolate it's always chocolate but for the summer months she said that well, chocolate has been dethroned by the new strawberry cream well i don't know if there's strawberry cream in here but maybe there's at least a strawberry we can give her yeah uh snickerdoodle granola i have a feeling snickerdoodles on the inside of this banana split frozen <gasps> yogurt oh, bites oh wow yeah banana keto chow and butter coffee oh my gosh yes okay. with cookies and cream so let's see we have a chocolate mint yes a uh, lemon meringue i love lemon meringue Salted caramel. Delicious. Mocha. Yay. Strawberry, not the new one. But okay. The old one. But Michelle will be really happy. Chocolate toffee. Because she's making a lot of strawberry ice cream. Yeah. Cookies and cream. Banana. Yes, we have some banana. Irish cream. I happen to love this flavor very dearly. And then we do get a big bag, which is Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. This is a fantastic flavor. Oops, Oops you sorry. Hit me in the head. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're gonna make a keto trash show you how we do this on the road. Which flavor do we want to make? That's gonna be an easy one for me. Chocolate, Chocolate toffee. toffee. So what we do is we just always bring a blender bottle with us. And now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and put that chocolate toffee in here. So this is the same as one scoop if you're getting the big bags. One package, one scoop. Yep. All right. Now we'll go ahead and we will shake this up. Shake it good. Now, a lot of times people ask us, do you have to add a fat source to keto chow? The answer is yes. Yeah. For a couple of reasons. First of all... The whole idea behind Keto Chow is, is a meal replacement shake, and each one of these shakes has one-third of all of the vitamins, nutrients, and electrolytes you need. Some of those vitamins are fat-soluble, meaning they need fat for your body to be able to, to take them in. Mm -hmm. So you do need to have at least 10 grams of fat with the shake. But honestly, that is too low. First of all, more fat is going to make it taste better. It's going to make it thicker. And we are keto. Don't be afraid of fat. You need to have fat in your diet. If you are not using carbohydrates, which we're not when you're on keto, the only other thing your body can use for fuel is fat. So if you're not giving it carbohydrates and then we're not giving it fat, we've got a little bit of a problem. So right. make sure you're not demonizing fat. This is not the old diet that everybody else goes on where fat is bad. Fat is good. It's also flavor. Fat is flavor for show. Sure. Okay, so once we've got this shaken up, I bet you're trying to figure out what are we gonna use for a fat source? Because again, you could use heavy cream, you could use avocado oil. You could use melted butter if you're traveling with a blender. Sure. And you have a way to melt it. Now, it so happens this particular hotel room does have a microwave, but a lot of times our hotel rooms don't have a microwave. So then it's going to be kind of difficult to melt butter. And I have found personally that without a blender, melted butter doesn't work very well because you just can't get it to emulsify the butter. Yeah. So what we're going to use is butter powder. Butter powder. So little controversial with butter powder. Butter powder, this is where I think it is good. It is good because it is a powdered fat and it is good on the road. Now, we don't have an actual measuring spoon, so we're gonna guesstimate this. One serving of this is 45 calories and it is a tablespoon. So I am going to say that that is about a tablespoon. Again, we are not trying for perfection. Right. I'm not, we don't count macros. So if it's slightly over or slightly under, I'm okay. What we're looking for is three to 400 calories worth of fat. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put six spoonfuls in. That's three, four, five. That one was a little small, so we'll go six. six. There you go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the lid on here. Sometimes the best thing you can do is keep things super simple. And we're going to shake. Do not overthink this. Do not mop yourself into a corner of crazy. Why? Because this is not a fad diet that we're only going to be on for 30 days. 
this is the rest of our life, Joe. Right. It's and a we, lifestyle. We have to make it sustainable. Right. So, why, while Rachel is shaking this, is butter powder controversial? Because if you look at the label on here, it says one serving, which is 45 calories, is less than one gram of carbs, which means it's more than a half a gram. That's right. So, round up and say it's one gram of carbs for a tablespoon. We just put six tablespoons in there. Yeah. Which means we just added somewhere between four to six tablespoons of butter powder into that. This is gonna be delicious. On the other side, if we were using melted butter, mm -hmm. you would not be adding any carbohydrates. Right. So a lot of people see this and like, oh, it's not that bad, it's less than one. But again, we gotta go calorie for calorie. So calorie for calorie butter powder actually has more carbohydrates than heavy cream. But there is a place for it. And that's something like this, traveling on the road or maybe an emergency, we keep it in our pantry so that, hey, you know, hurricane. we have a powder outage, we have a hurricane. Camping. We have an alternative. It's also really good if you're on the road and you want butter in your coffee. Just be aware there are carbs. Regardless of what the label says, where it says, sometimes the label's gonna say zero. It's not zero, it's a rounding error. So we always tell people, don't use things like butter powder or sweet cream powder or any of those powdered fats unless you absolutely have to because you are adding a significant amount of carbs. But I'm really glad that if you're on the road and you need this, I would much rather you utilize this then go back to the standard American diet when you're on vacation. Again, we're going to be walking around Disney all day. So am I worried about the four to six carbs that I no. added in here? No, because if I did this for three shakes, which we're not going to drink three shakes for our meals all day tomorrow, that still would not be more than 20 total carbohydrates. Yeah. Want to taste it? It smells so good. Yes, I want to taste it. Mmm. Works great. This is the perfect use for butter powder. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this into our refrigerator and then it'll be ready to go in the morning when we get up to go over to Disney. So before we go, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this My Child box away. Here's what you need to do to win the box. First of all, you do need to live here in the United States. I'm sorry, there's just laws in other countries. Uh, so you need to live in the United States. And then also you need to be subscribed to our channel. You need to hit that little bell button so that you are notified whenever we upload a new video and you need to hit the like button on this video. Now it is very important that you hit that bell button and that you have notifications turned on because the way we're gonna notify the winner is we're going to randomly pick a comment and then we're gonna respond to that person's comment. You will be notified that we've responded to your comment. So if you don't have notifications on, you won't know, you won't know. And then we're going to have to pick somebody else. So make sure you have notifications turned on. Also, there are scammers out there. We want you to know that we will never ask you for money or anything like that. The only way we're going to respond to you is by responding to your comments saying, Hey, you've won. Please send us your shipping information at joe at two crazy ketos.com. We're not going to ask you to use WhatsApp or Telegram or, or any of those other services. We're simply going to tell you to send us your shipping information and then we can send your box out to you. For free. So if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos. We have a link right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video that I'm going to put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we enjoy keto chow in a hotel room, you'll be alerted to Tell it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.